week by week, I've been doing stuff with open frameworks. And one of the things that I've been doing is working through my code. And, and as you start building more code, you probably want to take care of it and look after it. And a really important part of that is making comments and knowing where it's come from when you last worked on it and getting away from that hassle of going, oh, look, here's a piece of work I did in final version two inside a folder called final version Easter called final version, final version, really this time. When we look at open frameworks, we've got our source code. And it's good to know what this project is about, when it was made, who made it, if you want to share it with other people, etc., etc. And you can see in my projects, I've got a project title up here at the top where I've added comments in. And every time I make a new project in open frameworks, this bit of comment is added in at the top in the template because I've altered the template. And uh, you can see it's, it's project title, project description, hopefully urging me to fill them in so that I can remember what I was doing and why I was thinking this and if there were references and stuff like that, or if I may be modifying somebody else's source code where I found it, so there's attribution. And if somebody else finds this, maybe they can contact me and tell me they've improved what I've done or whatever else, but it's out of date. It's now not 2020 anymore, it's 2021. So I need to go and alter the template. And I'm gonna show you how you can alter the template as well. So if there are particular things that you want set up when you start a fresh project, you can put them in there. If I go to my Open Frameworks uh, source folder, so I'm using um, Open Frameworks 0.11. Inside here is the docs, the libs, the apps folder where my apps that I'm working on are made, the examples folder, which hopefully you've all had a look through, project generator. And if I have a look in scripts, I can see there's a folder called templates. And if I open up templates, there's an OS 10 folder alongside Linux and Windows and a whole load of other platforms. And these are the templates that new projects are made from. So if I open up the OS 10 one, you can see there's a source folder and a bin folder, an empty project and config make, and these things that, that a new project, when I make with a project generator builds. And in the source folder are empty-ish examples of a header file, a main file, and a CPP file that come up with these useful things that are in a standard uh, file. So if I open these, I'm gonna have a look at the header file. I'm gonna say open this with Xcode, but you could do this in any text editor. I can see here is the standard header file, which has these loops and functions already put in that I might want to use. And if I have a look at the CPP file, if I open that with Xcode as well, I can see it's the standard sets of um, draw, key pressed, update, setup that are defined in the header file for me. And these are just there as a convenience. Um, so what I want to do is I want to update the comments that I've put in at the top. You could put your own in to say slash slash, you know, this is how you start a comment. And a single line comment you can do with two slashes like this. And I really do recommend you put them all the way through your code. They don't slow your program down at all. They just make it actually more readable. And in a week's time when you've decided that you're a human and you've forgotten everything you did last week, you can come back and go, ah, this bit doesn't work. And I remember at the time it didn't work. Or this bit is actually supposed to do that, which means that you can share your code and go and improve it and remember what on earth was going on later. So make a single line comment with two slashes. Make a multi-line comment by going slash asterisk Asterisk, not asterix, asterix, character, obelix, carrying big stones around, asterisk, little star thing. This is a multi-line comment. So it says, this is the beginning of the comments, and then a asterisk slash at the end says this is the end of the multi-line comments. So you can make two different kinds of comments. And I'm going to come up and update the copyright date on this. 
tidy this up. And I can do the same in my header file. And then if I save them, when I make a new project, that'll be in there. One of the cool things that I could do is I keep using this all the time. When I press a key, the F key, I want it to run full screen. So what I could do is I could say if key equals F, O, F, Open Frameworks, toggle full screen. And when I save this now, every project that I start will have that pre-configured for me. So I think I'm going to do this. There's a better way to do it, which is using switch statements, which means that I can handle lots and lots of key presses. But I think I'm going to put this in just for now to show you what I mean. So I've put in if key e is equal to F, OF toggle full screen. And every project that I make with a project generator now will have this built in. So I'm going to save the files. Close it and save it. Uh, my header file and my CPP file. And now if I go to the project generator and say, just make a template example, generate this, and I have a look, you can see it's updated the copyright that I'd put in, this is now 2021, updated the comments in the CPP and the header file. And if I scroll down now, hmm, seems I got that wrong. So now I've got OF toggle full screen in every application. So I'm just going to go back and fix that bit that I didn't fix before in my Get the capitalization right. So now, correctly typed in my template, everything, every project that I make has this ability, press the F key, toggles the full screen backwards and forwards. So I could add extra things in, and we're probably going to do some of these. But you can add your own comments in, and you can modify the templates as you like. And if you screw them up, you can always go back and re-download them. So, Explore. This is a way of personalizing it, and it forces you to think about commenting and think about tidying your code and, and really work towards being able to make more and more complicated art projects or interaction projects without the hassle of trying to remember what on earth it was that you were doing in the first place. So if you like the videos, please hit the subscribe. I'll be doing more in open frameworks and talking about um, applications, drawing, art, uh, generating stuff, and also about how on earth you run projects and good practice in working with open frameworks and working with computers. So I'll see you on the next video. Thanks very much.